Hi there. Meet Sunny. <laughs> Sunny visited a math museum recently where he learned about the history of mathematics and the various contributions made by famous mathematicians. Today, he wants to walk us through some interesting facts, especially those related to geometry. The concepts of geometry have been in use since time immemorial. The people of early civilizations used various geometrical strategies to solve their day-to-day -day problems. For example, the residents around the river Nile used different geometrical techniques to calculate simple areas and volumes and solve the problems they faced due to constant floods. In the Indian subcontinent, excavations in Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, etc. have revealed the extensive use of geometry even during the Indus Valley Civilization period. You would be surprised to learn that the cities then were very well planned. They had parallel roads, well-structured underground drainage systems and houses with many rooms. Fascinating, isn't it? Even the ancient Greeks have contributed significantly to the field of mathematics, ranging from the fundamentals of geometry to the idea of formal proof. The Greek mathematician Thales is credited for giving the first known proof in the field of geometry. Thales proved that a circle is divided into two halves by its diameter. His most popular pupil was Pythagoras. And we all know about the famous Pythagoras theorem, which gives us the relation between the hypotenuse, base and the perpendicular in a right angle triangle. So we can see that geometry was used and applied everywhere across the world in the earlier centuries. But its use back then was disorganized and there were no standard rules or procedures. This way of applying geometric principles continued till 300 BC. That's when Euclid, a teacher of mathematics in Alexandria, Egypt, collected all the known works in the field of geometry and arranged them systematically in his famous treatise called Elements. He divided the elements into 13 chapters, each called a book. The contents of these books influenced the world's understanding of geometry and laid the foundation of Euclidean geometry, which is what we study till date. Euclid is thus known as the father of geometry. Well, that's a lot of information for one day, isn't it? We'll learn more on another day. For now, keep practicing. Bye.